Okay guys, so I have an unboxing. Um, this is not the box that it comes in. So this is the inside of the lock that goes inside the door. And this is the outside of it. And it is called a shalog, I believe. Um, it can be keyless entry and you can use the remote control from your app and you can know who is um, unlocking your house. Basically it keeps track of who locks and unlocks through the app. So this uh, door lock is the model BE489WB. It is about $250. Um, it comes in like a silver and a black. We have the black one. So I'm going to kind of pull up the information on it for you. It's called the Camelot. It has smart Wi-Fi deadfold Camelot trim. Built-in Wi-Fi allows you to lock and unlock from anywhere. Set up guest access codes for reoccurring, temporary, or permanent access. Um, no additional accessories required. Um, you can do Alexa or Google Assistant commands. You can manage up to 100 access codes for trusted friends and family. We have two right now. Um, fingerprint resistant. Um, one touch lock. Built-in alarm technology senses potential security breaches. Low battery indicator. Um, easy to install. Well, last night it was a little complicated for him to install. Um, but, you know, he managed to get it done within like 40 minutes. Uh, unique snap and stay technology. And it's guaranteed to fit pretty much any standard door. So you can use it anywhere. You can use a smartphone, app guided lock installation and setup, etc., etc. Um, this was our old lock. Ugh. That's not it. Super heavy. This was our old lock. Very basic. Um, and a pain in the butt because we didn't know the code to it. When we moved in, they didn't know the code and they didn't have a key. So we could not lock the top lock. And I'm going to just drop it and have it fall apart and totally. So we basically pulled it off. We can put it back when we move. Um, they can have the cruddy lock. We don't care. So I'm going to show you what the app looks like and how to lock and unlock it from my app. If it doesn't show any personal information, I haven't looked yet. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on the door. So give me a second. All right. So this is the front of the door. Um, so yes, there are two locks apparently in that box. Um, one for the front door and one for the back door. And this definitely helps because I leave the house and I lock the doors. And Michael has a really bad habit of losing his keys. And he has to end up sitting in the car or whatever. So if I just end up locking just the top lock or something like that, he can get in through the app on his phone, which I'm going to show you. So the app itself is Shaleg Home, I think. And I'm going to walk to the car. I'm not even going to be near the, the thing. And as you can see, it says it's locked right now. And I'm going to, or unlocked, sorry. <laughs> and I'm going to lock it by tapping on the lock. And now it's locked. Now, if you want to hear it, I have my microphone set to record my microphone. So let me put it up against the door and hit unlock. And the little icon um, that you saw previously, the little house with the check mark and the lock with the X, that shows um, that somebody has pushed the button, it lights up. Show when you hit unlock, this part lights up.
So that's pretty cool too. It also has a keypad code and we have a keypad code for both Michael and myself. Um, and we have a different four digit code for each of us. So So, first step of installing a brand new deadbolt is take the old one off. Actually, I should say, if you have an existing deadbolt, the first step is making sure it actually functions properly. Which we your, just had to do. Or your new one won't function properly either. So then, once you get those screws out, most deadbolts just have the two. So on the inside, they have a, like a little flange, and that's what's actually, that goes on there, and that's what actually turns this little guy. So this wasn't wanting to come out, because it looks like somebody bent it. That should just be a straight piece, but it's twisted. So, I just have to, there we go. I had to re-bend this to get it out because somehow it got bent up. Mm -hmm. um, That's the old lock. And then you got to take this guy out because they all have their own special kind they come with. The door plate. And this is the actual bolt piece that mm -hmm. comes out. I need the new bolt first. Tells you which side's top. Yeah, see this one has where it can extend out, but we shouldn't need it. Yeah. I was a step ahead of myself, this guy first. Um I should have had a second one of these over here. There you are. And that should match right up with the old holes. There we go. So then, we're going to take this outside piece, and this is going to go under those, and then this kind of cups over it. And you gotta make sure that flange piece goes in there. There we go. So sometimes you have to mess with it. So a lot of times when you get a deadbolt, they come with assorted lengths. You just have to figure out which length yours is. I know from the other one that ours is the shortest ones. And it'll tell you this side against door, and that this is the top. I have a little feed to replace for that wire. And this is what you're gonna line up through the holes in there and into the other holes. That's in there, and that's in there. There we go. So then, we're gonna take this side has a little plug that plugs into there. So if I can get it to. Helps if I have it the right direction. And then most of these, you just kind of tuck that in out of the way. And then you get this to line up with that guy. Which 
which is apparently easier said than done. There we go, because it has the little bump on it, so I need it that way. The other holes to line up. Got the wire in the way. There. And then on these, you have a hole right here. You put these in. That attaches this to the rest of it. If that wire is sitting perfectly in there. And it's not. Maybe it is. There it goes. It says unlock. Mm -hmm. And that just slides on the back. Mm 